Hello, only me back again with another video. Another video which I hope the young carpentry apprentices might find helpful. Because this week I was following a post on one of the carpentry Facebook groups where this young lad was asking what phone apps people were using to work out the spacings on, on the stair spindles. And that got me thinking, perhaps the youngsters today aren't being taught the same tried and tested methods as us older chippies were taught. So I thought I'd put together a short video to show you the way I was taught to do it, the way I still do it today. And it's a method that never fails. So, base rail, imagine this is one new post. That's another new post. And obviously, the handrail is up here somewhere. First of all, you're going to be measuring the gap between the two new posts. And this measurement I can't see because I haven't got my glasses on. Start again. This measurement is 680 mil. Okay, so straight away I'm going to knock off 200 mil. I do this each time when I'm I'm setting it up on a horizontal section of staircase. So 680, deduct 200 will bring us down to 480. And what you need to do is go to the nearest 100 mil increment to that measurement. So the nearest to 480 is going to be 500 mil. Now that's going to indicate I'm going to need at least five spindles to fill this gap. So one for each 100 mil increment. Okay. Next, go and cut, as in this case, I'm going to need five spindles. Cut the five spindles and stack them nice and tight against one your post. Then it's a simple matter of measuring the gap that you've got left, which in this case is 518 millimeters. And the reason you do it this way is because all the spindles you've stacked, if any of, the, any of those were slightly undersized or oversized, it doesn't matter because you've measured the remaining gap that you need to fill. So it's more accurate. Okay, so 518, simple calculation then, 518, you divide it by not the number of spindles, but the number of gaps. So you always add one extra. So it's five spindles, we could divide that by six. If it's six spindles, you divide it by seven, eight spindles by nine. So always add one. That's going to tell me that the space of gap is 86.3 millimetres, which obviously is under the 99 mil maximum gap you're allowed. 86.3, if these spindles were Edwardian Victorian style, like the turn spindles, it may be just a bit too tight because the simplest thing to do then is just cut one spacer if you're using the turn spindles, stack two of the spindles together and then measure the widest gap. If then you're over, it's a simple matter of then just cutting a, another spindle, remeasuring and dividing it by seven instead of six. Okay. Set up the end stop on the chop saw and then just simply slide them along, pop in your spaces, pin them, glue them, whatever method you're using and you'll find you'll be spot on every time. A simple method no phone apps, just give it a go lads. Incidentally, the same method applies to when you're fixing the spindles up the rake of the stairs. So I'll quickly try and set up another 
little model to show you what I mean. Just pop that in there. Got a piece of CLS there over my angle on it. Right, so this now represents your bottom mule and your, your top mule post will be up here somewhere. <clears throat> exactly the same method again, but you'll be measuring your base rail. Well, this one was 680 mil, but instead of knocking off 200 mil this time, on the rake I knock off 300 mil. Okay, so we've got 680. I'm going to knock off 300 mil, which takes us down to 380. Again, I go to the nearest 100 mil increment of 380, which is 400. And that's going to indicate I'm going to need at least four spindles to fill this gap. Okay, so off you go. Cut your four spindles. Stack them at the bottom your post. And then measure the remaining gap, which in this instance is 518 mil. Calculator again, 518 mil. You divide it by not four, add one, you divide it by five. That's going to give you a space to the length of 103.6 millimeters. So go and cut couple of spacers to double check we'll pop it in there like that measure your gap so in this case I've got 78 mil on a 103.6 length spacer so you know that's that's fine that's well under regs and probably um, 76 mil is going to be fine on the turn spindle as well incidentally another little tip when you uh, fixing your spindles up the rake you put your first spacer in and you sliding down your next spindle and it's always tending to want to pop the next one out it becomes awkward when the customer doesn't want any fixing shown so if this was like an oak staircase you don't want to have little pin holes that needs to fill in so what i use is a hot melt glue gun a bit of hot melt glue on the back pop it in and it dries almost immediately then when you fix your next spindle down it doesn't want to pop out the previous one glue on the back of the next next spacer and simply just pop it in and try not to burn your fingers because that hurts okay so there you have it i hope you find it informative and give this method a go lads because once you've done it once, you won't turn back, believe me. It's a simple, tried and tested method. Don't worry about your phone apps. In fact, most of you are on your phones too much as it is. So, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be making some more. So, please follow the YouTube channel and I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.